You're gonna have to say what's going on, guys. Renegade here, dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Yo, what's going on, guys? All right, wait. Shut the fuck up. All right. Three, two, one. What's going on, guys? My name is Renegade. Today we're here for AKW Q and A. We are joined once again by Digital Pig. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, and uh, so we're gonna be answering some of these uh, questions you boys have left in the Discord server. As always, go to the go to the Discord server and leave some questions for the next episode of this. Woo! All right. First question <laughs> is first question. It's coming from Refile, and they asked, "Hi, Refile. What are your thoughts on AE dishing out the 10k chest every event?" Uh, what so, do you think? Well, you know, this is the. I mean, all right. Let's let's just take a look at the both of them. So we got the Dragon King one, which included all the color variants for the Dragonborn naval what that commander. Is. It's just a bunch of fucking naval commander bullshit. Oh, the na- yeah, it's all that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, here's the thing, Christian now kind of plays EQW a little bit, so he kind of understands a lot more than the last episode of this. So it's actually uh, interesting to get him <laughs> on because he's like kind of like a newbie player. Either way, though, 10k you know chest. I'm okay with it, but I wouldn't be okay with it if they used it to, like, inflate the price of other shit, right? Like, if they started just making bullshit filler armors just so people would buy the chest. And at the end of the day, it's also encouraging people that wouldn't normally spend that many ACs to spend that many ACs on an event. For example, myself, I'd buy a bank pit if it comes out, because i just buy every bank pit. I'd also probably buy the class. So in the, in the, in the 10k chest that just came out, the Blood Moon one... I would have probably only spent 4k ACs normally, but instead, for some reason, I decided that I'd, I was going to get the 10k chest. <laughs> so I spent an extra 6k ACs, even though I usually, I usually wouldn't have. It's not the, This one didn't include color variants. This one just included like other armors and stuff. But because I've only got one set, I never even need to get like other stuff. Like I, I, I usually just get the pet and get the class, and that's it. So it's yeah, kind of encouraging me to spend it? more. I don't, know why, I don't know why I bought it. What's your opinion on it, Christian? What's your opinion on the 10k chests? Well, as long as they don't add anything that's uh, gameplay changing or like a like a buffed version of the the class that's like you, that you can get from like the farm or something, then I guess it's okay. But it's still kind of like stupid because it's like you know you should be able to earn these things, not just have to buy them all. The yeah, time. it's like an age old argument though. It's like I think AKW has just done that for so long now. It's the only way they can actually just sustain their game by charging money for it. It's not that bad, but yeah. it could be. I, it's so much money. Yeah, it's borderline getting like really bad. Like they they could do things that make it a lot worse. Like they're just sort of <sighs> on the edge of making it awful. All right, our next question is going from Rezd, and they Hi, said, Rezd. "Would you rather AKW make the game more of an integral game?" So I, he's basically saying, "Would you rather the, the game just be better, like the gameplay, like soloing being mostly gone yeah. and like." Yeah, you know, what I've been describing pretty much is the game actually being fun. Or would you rather that they change the Adobe Flash properties to make the game run smoother? So basically, he's asking, would you would I rather have the game run smoothly or be fun? And honestly... Well, I'd... not soloing. It also includes having people in your room, which makes it fucking laggy. Yeah, so like, it's gonna... Be... I feel like this is like an impossible question, because it's like... If the game lags, then it's automatically going to be like 80% less fun. So they'd have to do a lot of stuff to make the game actually fun. Uh, I would rather have a different engine. You'd, so you'd rather have the flash I, changed? Yeah. I think I think I would too. I uh, don't want a laggy garbage game. Yeah. Next oh, one's sorry, coming from uh, Allure, and they asked, which I... ex-AE staff or artist would you be most excited for if they made their return oh, to AKW? Yeah, so this one was kind of a bit of a garbage question, but I left it anyway, because I've only got one answer, and I only know of one artist that has actually left. Um, like, it's probably even more. And that's, of course... Isn't it like... I think I know. Who is it, then? Who do you think I'm going to say? I don't. I don't. You don't? remember the name. Multonius? Uh, nah, never mind. All right. <laughs> Multonius! He needs to come back. <laughs> Nah, not really. I don't yeah, stop doing porn, Miltonius. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That guy does, like... Jesus. You're making me whip my cock out. Like There's, like, a Pokemon thing that one time. Oh, man. oh crock. Did, did you see that? With, like, the... Yeah, I did. Yeah, that was fucking awful. Yeah, whip my cock out. Yeah, it's I'm kind of just... Ah, uh, man, I don't know what that guy's doing these days, but, yeah. He's got, like, a He's Patreon. jacking off to his own art. What yeah, a guy. What a god. I don't even know of any other artists or people that have left AKW, but, yeah, probably him, I'd say. <laughs> me he either, shit. 
All right, next one's coming from Venno, and they asked, which reputation faction deserves a class that doesn't already have oh, one? Man. So. What a good question. Um, you know, most reputations do have classes, but one that I'd love to see a class for is, is uh, the good rep. I don't Dude, I was going to actually say that. You were actually going to say that? Yeah, man. Wow. Because uh, they don't have any content. If you're a good player, you're just like, <laughs> you don't have any content. And you can actually still do Nogath and Dage content, even if you're a good player. Like, Dage and Nogath are supposed to be evil, but yet you can do all that content when you're when you're a good player. And, like, that that's kind of doesn't really make sense, but along the same veins, if you're a good player, there's really, like, no content for you to do when you compare it to evil. So, that faction system's good, fucked. Yeah, it really is. Good needs to have a class. I reckon that would be a good way to make people... A uh, couple of classes. Yeah, a couple of classes, because Dage and Nogath have got heaps of classes. And there's not really, like, any, like, sub tiers. Everyone likes dark stuff when they're kids. Yeah, edgy people like edgy shit. All right, next question is coming <laughs> from uh, <laughs> Hanky Taylor. Is that his name? Hi, Hanky. Hanky, yeah, all right. Hanky Taylor. Who was your yeah, favorite Chaos gross. Lord? All right, favorite Chaos Lord. So Christian probably can't answer this, but mine's a, oh, mine's a Sherion. Because uh, mine's, um... a Sherion's the, the main boy. He's, he's, he's the OG number one, you know, like, fucking what a god. You know what I mean? He's just number. He's the first one, I think. Was he? I don't know. Mine's mine's deck whack. <laughs> Who? Tech Rex. <laughs> What's up, guys? Tech Rex here. I got my iPhone eight plus. You know, I just thought to myself, what happens if I put one of these guys in a waffle maker? <laughs> yeah, Tech Rex. Tech cunt. <laughs> How do you get a clip of um I dub saying tech cunt? Tech cunt here and tech cunt. Tech cunt. Tech cunt. Yeah, oh, that's my man. favorite chaos look. Yeah, all right. That's a good chaos look. I love. Oh, him. next one's coming from Hanky Taylor as well. What are your oh, thoughts on fuck. the so-called ad apocalypse? So man, this is, this it's is, affecting me so hard. It's not affecting me at all. I'm really happy about it. Everyone's complaining about it. Like H3H3 is just like making several videos about it, and I'm just like. Man, Fuck. that's okay. one advantage to making videos about a, a, a game that's like PG-13. No, not even PG-13, like G-rated. Cool. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, you just burp. Fuck you. <clears throat> Fuck you, you yep. did it again. All right, and, uh, yeah, <coughs> I'm not affected by it at all. I've had, like, two videos affected by it, and, like, I've been able to get them back to full monetization status anyway. If you're not sure what, what he Damn. means by adpocalypse, it, long story short... If you have offensive words in the tags, title, description of your video, you're going to get it demonetized. All right, next one is coming from Geo54. What do you think about buying pets to make things easier, such as Legion tokens or other items? So what he means by that is buying a pet that, like, increases your, well, speeds up a process. So, for example, buying a Nolgath pet at his birthday generally gives you a quest which allows you to get Nolgath farming items at a much quicker pace than someone who doesn't have that pet. So, yeah, and they're usually worth money, like real-life money, like ACs. And so you're pretty much just giving yourself an advantage over other players with money. So it's that, that would be like a pay-to-win aspect of the game, I guess. What's your opinion on that, Christian? I don't think that should be a thing because uh, it's pay-to-win. It's literally just pay-to-win. It's pay to get the thing faster. Yeah, I mean, the thing is pay-to-win like usually works. usually is, is, is a word or a term meant for like competitive type games where you're like, yeah, I mean, this weapon, I'm going to buy it with real money and then that weapon will do objectively more damage than other weapons and so therefore I have paid for an advantage over other players. And usually that's sort of for like PvP type scenarios in other games, but you can kind of sort of use it in games like AQW that are PvE based. And uh, yeah, no, yeah. it's literally just pay to win, which is really bad. But um, it's oh, kind of okay, I guess, because it's not that much quicker, and there are ways to do things still if you're a free player. I mean, it's it's better than not having any way of doing it as a free player and the pet being the only way to do it. But... It just kind of discourages you, though. It's like, uh, it's like, well, if yeah. I had this pet, then I, and then I would just be able to do this faster. Like the Blood Moon event, where it's, if you're a member, it's like you did it half half the time. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just kind of demoralizing for someone who's a free player. It's just like, wow, the all these people have bought this shit and they're able to do it much quicker than I am. It's just kind of like, well, what the fuck's the point? Like, if, um, what's the yeah. point of me working working twice as hard as everyone else if I'm just going to get the same result? It's pretty pretty crappy. It's a bit of a shame. Our last question is coming from Ninja with a rocket launcher, and they asked, I'm "Do you Ninja think your channel rocket, has man. longevity, or are you enjoying the la- ride while it lasts?" So I don't think my channel has longevity at all. Like I'm, uh, <laughs> like this, I'm gonna die. This game <laughs> is eventually gonna die, 
and eventually I'm going to get to... And I'm going to die. I'm going to be at the point where, like, I'm not able to fit in YouTube into my daily schedule or whatever, and so I'm eventually going to get to the point where, like, I'm like, well, you know, I can't do these videos anymore, but hey, it's a, it's a fun thing while it lasts, and if I can make it grow to the point where it becomes my full-time job, then that would, like, be amazing, and that's, like, the my ultimate dream. Um, but that's not, like, a po really, like, a possibility while you do AQW videos, because the AQW community is just simply not big enough, and AQW doesn't pay it well enough, but, uh, hey, maybe someday this game will grow really big. It's a possibility. Yeah, so don't, re so don't rely on Renegade. He's about to die in about six months. Yeah, I'm about to fucking stop YouTube and go make do some fucking pizza. Overwatch yeah, content, yeah. <laughs> fucking pizza. <laughs> yeah, dude, let's go back to Overwatch. Pizza. Woo! Yeah, boy! That was, that was so good. All right, boys. Well, that's that's going to about do it for this this episode of AQW Q&A. Hope uh, you guys enjoyed. Yeah, I'll uh, leave a poll in the in the description down below and in the, probably like, in the comments and stuff as well. Do you think Digital Pig's a good guest? Because uh, if he's bad, <laughs> then you're going to get fucked, bitch. So, uh, yeah. Oh, come on. People right. didn't like me last time. And the poll for me even being on this thing. Nah, don't bad. worry. It, no, it wasn't that bad. They voted like 19 <laughs> people. Elaborate. 19 people voted to have you and then like... 15 voted to not have you, so it wasn't that bad. Oh, right, right, right. It was still in favor. Nearly 50 50. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Half the people don't want you. People here. don't like me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Yeah, anyway. All right. Well, that's going to do it, boys. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll Yo, see you guys. Yo, fuck this shit! And I'll see you guys in the next video. <sighs> oh, I hate you, Christian. Why? I don't know, dude. I like this noise. Yeah. What up, dude? I'm drinking tea. What's going on, dude? Drink it, piss. <laughs> dude, what's going on, guys? Tea, Mark. Ah, oh, man. Probably gonna forget to put that iDubs thing on, and no one's gonna remember. Tech cunt no here, and tech cunt. Tech cunt. Tech cunt. Tech cunt.